Susan Martin. And Susan, what job do you do and where do you work? Okay, um, I am the Director of Marketing uh, for the Jockey Club Information Systems and we are located in Lexington, Kentucky. And as the Director of Marketing for the Information Systems for the Jockey Club, what are some of your job responsibilities? Okay, and I should uh, say too that I also oversee all the marketing activities for Blood Horse. Blood Horse is uh, a company that we own majority interest in along with the Thoroughbred Owners and Breeders Association. But uh, my responsibilities really uh, are more to oversee, plan, develop the marketing activities for our company and the products and services that we offer. Um, I do that for the Jockey Club Information Systems and also uh, for Blood Horse and the, the products and services that Blood Horse offers. And can you spend a little time telling us about your background? So this would be maybe your school or your life experiences that got you to this point in your career. Sure. Um, well, I grew up in Paris, Kentucky, so in the, the heart of horse country, and I grew up on a farm, but not a horse farm. But probably from the time I was 10 years old, I always had an interest in, in horses in the thoroughbred industry. And, um, you know, felt like I wanted to be in it in some, you know, in some aspect, didn't know what, but wanted to be involved in it. So during my summers of going to college, I went to, to Moorhead State University, which is uh, in Eastern Kentucky. And um, I worked at Runnymede Farm uh, with the yearlings during the summer. And I, I did that for three years and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And, and um, you know, it was a great experience for me. Um, when I was in college, Quite honestly, I wasn't sure what I wanted to major in, as I, I think probably a lot of, of uh, kids thinking about college aren't sure what they want to do, but um, I ended up taking some business classes, thinking that no matter what I got into, um, I'd probably be able to apply that knowledge um, some way. So I ended up taking um, some marketing courses and just loved it. You know, it was something that really, um, I, I really felt um, invigorated by it. I enjoyed it and, and um, so ultimately that's where I ended up going and getting a degree in, in marketing. Um, after um, I graduated, I did go ahead and get my MBA and, um, and then I worked for uh, upon graduation, I worked for a radio station for a couple of years, doing, uh, being the program director and also sales. And, um, and then uh, for three years, I think it was, I taught at Moorhead State University. I taught uh, marketing and business classes. But uh, when I saw the position uh, for marketing manager for the Jockey Club Information Systems, um, I thought, you know, that's right up my alley. So I uh, applied for that and got the job and have been here ever since. Um, and, and how uh, long ago was that, oh, Susan? Oh gosh, I'm really going to tell my age now. That was, uh, that was 33 and a half years ago, so, which is just hard to believe. But, um, you know, I've been just so fortunate. And I have no doubt that um, having the experience that I had working at Runnymede Farm along with the marketing was, um, you know, was, was a big help to me getting this, mm -hmm. you know, in, into uh, this organization. Well, in that role of marketing, can you talk to us just a bit about what your typical day might look like? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, you know, most of my day tends to, to focus around um, the marketing of our products and services. And, and that may be like creating, um, you know, developing the plan. How are we gonna market this, this product or service? And it's an, it's an ongoing process. It's not a do this and you're done. It's, it's a continual process. But it, um, you know, might be, are we going to create ads for, for this product? Um, are we gonna send out an email? Are we gonna put ads online, you know, social media or whatever. 
And then once that's determined, um, you know, then I will we'll write the copy for that. We'll send it to our um, creative services team for them to actually create, and then we'll um, deploy those or, or implement those. But that is, um, that's a pretty, pretty large percentage of, of my time. And if you had to choose the hardest part of your job and the hardest thing that you do, not just in the course of the day, but just overall, mm -hmm. what would that be? You know, I think that probably the, the hardest thing is that every day when I come in, I have a list of things that I have to do. And it's an ongoing list, which is, which is great, but you know, there's always a lot that has to be done. So I think it's just, um, you know, I could feel like I'm going in a lot of different directions. So it's important that I, I stay focused and prioritize and, and uh, do the things that I think are gonna have the most impact. So um, that's probably one of the hardest things. And then, and then being creative, you know, trying to be creative all the time. You know, sometimes you just don't feel so creative, but you know, you need to do it anyway. But I'm very fortunate to have um, a creative services team and, and particularly a graphic artist who is wonderful at their job. And, and that helps me do my job and makes, makes it much easier for me. And on the flip side of that question, what mm -hmm. is your favorite thing about your work? Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think it's hard to, to say just one thing, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe say a couple of things that, that I think are my favorite. I, I do love this industry. I love every, every facet of it, you know, from the, the matings and breedings to you know watching the foals grow and the going through the sales or going to the racetrack so i enjoy all of that and i think that that um it, you know just having a connection to it and understanding why you know why people are doing what they're doing or what why and how our services help them is um you know is very helpful and rewarding you know I've never felt like I was trying to market or to sell something that people don't need I always felt like it was um, more to educate them to let them know what is out there that could help them help them do their job you know help them have more knowledge so that's you know that's been beneficial and rewarding for me and then um, I guess one of the, the other things that I've enjoyed the most is um, are, are all the people that I've met along the way. I've met so many interesting and wonderful people, um, so I've been felt very fortunate to, to be able to do that. If you had to do something over again, mm -hmm. this is a hard question, if you had to do something over again to get to this point in your career, what would it be? You know. I um, I've thought about that, and it, it's not like I had the perfect path, but when I look back, I don't know that there's anything I would change. Mm -hmm. You know, I I I feel so thankful to be where I am, and I've enjoyed my job so much, and, and I feel like all the things that led me to this point. Um, you know, had a part into it in, in, you know, to being where I am today. So I don't really know that I would go back and change anything. Well, my last question for you, if you had any advice for a middle school student or a high school student considering work in the horse industry, mm -hmm. what would that advice be? Um, I think that, that the industry is a wonderful place to work. I think that there are so many opportunities for um, for young people, you know, to have a career here. And think about that it's not just working with the horses. There are plenty of opportunities if you want to work with the horses, and if you do, that's fantastic. But there are also a lot of other um, other jobs in this industry where people like myself aren't hands-on with the horses. So uh, there are a couple of things that I would, um, would recommend 
is one to take a look at America's Best Racing. That's an online website and, and it is geared more toward uh, younger generations. So I think you might find that interesting and might learn more about the industry. And also to look at bloodhorse.com. Um, Bloodhorse is um, kind of the go-to website in the thoroughbred industry and I, I think it will expose you to um, a lot of different facets of this industry, you know, from the breeding to the sales to the racing. And when you think about those things, you know, all the different parts of the industry, think to what, you know, what could be behind that. You know, if you, if you see like a website like bloodhorse.com or America's Best Racing, think about the skill sets and the, the people that it takes to run something like that. And you know, that's, that's all a part of the industry. So um, I think there are a lot of opportunities. If you're interested in the, the thoroughbred industry, the horse industry, you know, go for it. Um, I, you know, I, I think it's, a, it's an industry where people are very passionate about, um, about the horses and what they do and what the, you know, what the horses mean to us all. Um, and if you know some people that, um, you know, are already in the horse industry, you know, talk to them, find out more about it. If you have the opportunity to, to work, uh, maybe part-time or a summer job or intern um, with, with some job in the industry, do so. And even if that's not something that you end up wanting to do, you know, it may expose you to more more things uh, in the industry and you may find out that yes this is something really I want to do or expose you to something that hey I think I want to find out more about this. Um, so you know I would just encourage you to to learn what you can and and you know be as inquisitive as you can and and ask questions of, of people that um, you know might be able might be resources for you. Thank you so much Susan for sharing your time with us today and for sharing your insights with us. Thank you, it's been my pleasure. Insights is a career awareness series for middle and high school students considering work in the horse or racing industries. Our recorded interviews give you the chance to gain insights into various jobs, hear diverse perspectives, and gather advice from people who work across the industry. These interviews are intentionally unedited to connect you to exactly what you would see and hear if you were asking the questions yourself. As you think about possible work in the industry, put yourself out there. Meet people and ask them these kinds of questions. For more information about insights and career resources, visit our website at racingmuseum.org.